my graphic design workflow and my process is never going to be the same again. I've recently made it faster, more streamlined, and I can explore more design possibilities with ease. Graphic design isn't about picking pretty colors or trendy fonts. Rather, it needs a blueprint that turns chaos into visual cohesion. Now, if you've been a little bit bad and you skip the design process, it's kind of like navigating a maze blindfolded. Sure, you might stumble upon something decent once in a while, but the chances are you're probably going to end up lost or confused. And for me, the process isn't just a series of steps that I take, it's the GPS navigation that guides me through a project, ensuring I reach my destination of hopefully jewel dropping visual design concepts. Concepts that make the client click send to my bank account. And having that process in place, something that's tried and tested and proven, really instills confidence in you as a designer and when you head into your projects. That all happens within this app here, Walling. And Walling was already a very professional and easy to use tool for building design workflows and processes. But now with the recent AI updates, things have just been taken to new heights. So here I have a logo for a new business that I'm personally launching in 2024. But let's say hypothetically, I want to redesign this logo. To do that properly and professionally, I would need a good workflow and a place to map out my research, my design process and all of that good stuff. And as you can see here on Walling, we can build a wall from blank or even make use of some handy templates below. But now we can actually use AI to generate an awesome starting point for our process. So let's try creating a workflow wall for a logo redesign project, something for my new brand that aims to supply feedback, professional feedback to graphic designers. It's going to take a few seconds to generate in, but remember that this AI will give you an amazing template or basis for your workflow. And any designer should obviously not take this as a finished process wall, but it saves so much time and offers vast opportunities to us designers in our workflows. And it has totally changed the game for me personally, which I'm going to go through right now. So as mentioned, within a few seconds, we have a project wall to work with. And of course, these are placeholder images and text, but scrolling through, it's obvious how in depth things are in terms of planning and engaging with a design workflow. And here are some steps required to finalize the logo design. And here is a placeholder feedback section for my project that I can come in and modify as I go along. And then here, specific phases of the logo design process. But here's the really cool thing. We can easily add things onto our walling workflow right here. There are multiple options, but we can actually use AI within AI for this. It's like AIception. It's worth noting that here we can leave the setting to auto and the AI will determine which of these three options best fits our request. That being visual, table or board. But let's say I want to add a to-do list for my project. And for that, I can set it to table as that would likely fit best for that request. And again, it will take a few moments to generate. But hey presto, here's a neat little to-do list table on my wall. Now it's just a case of thinking about the task or steps for my logo design project and typing them into the table itself. We can move the bricks around with ease as well. It's pretty intuitive. And here we can even add notes on how important the task is and assign it to a specific person in our team. And we can customize the visual UI of pretty much anything in Walling, which is handy. And more about that later. But for now, I might want to make my to-do list a bright orange, simply so it stands out and seems important to me as I'm scrolling through it. You really can't be slacking on to-do lists when it comes to design projects. There are also handy settings here for the layout and the typography. But here's the super cool thing that I found with this. This to-do list was generated by AI. And yet it has a built-in reminder section where you can actually set a deadline for each task and then even assign reminders for each task with allocated timing. Now that is next level organization. And each reminder can be turned on or off at will. I really love this feature and it helps every project just run that much more smoothly. But going back to the wall, changing those placeholder images is actually incredibly easy. We can source imagery from Unsplash and Giphy and that's built right into the UI. But also we can use AI or upload things from our devices. So here I can set the project header to the original logo for the project, which just seems intuitive. And everything is just so smooth and interactive with walling. We can adjust image sizes and placements. We can add or remove columns and we can move bricks around super easily. 
Also things like color coding your walls just makes sense. And again, this leads into a more organized workflow. Having the placeholder text and sections does save a lot of time and it helps enforce the direction of the process. And basically AI essentially puts the stepping stones down and then we build and expand upon it as designers. A quick tip is that you can right click anywhere and add new bricks via AI. So again, the original layout doesn't have an area where I can collect data for the competition of my logo design project but the AI can help us add a brick that relates to that matter in just a few seconds. Now, all I've got to do is the research into the brand and the industry, and then fill out this area in relation to competition in my project. Again, this entire workflow and method in walling just leads to a more professional and a more laser focused approach to any design project. Oh, I forgot to mention that sometimes you will just want to quickly add something onto your wall, be it a video image or whatever it is. And you can do that simply by dragging and dropping things onto your project like so. And here, for example, just another version of that original logo. But what about when it comes to bringing clients or even colleagues onto your walling projects? Well, we can come here and click publish. So firstly, you can publish to the web or simply copy the link above and share it around but there's a super nifty feature found here. And that is we can choose to hide certain sections from the people we share our walls with. So maybe I don't want the client to see my to-do list or checklist. I can simply just hide it here and nobody's gonna see it. You can also come here and type in people's email address and bring them onto your walls that way. But whoever you bring onto walling, it doesn't matter if they're on a train on the phone or on a beach with an iPad and a cocktail, because walling is optimized for all devices as you can see here. So you can actually be confident that whatever you've chosen to create on walling, it will look decent to whoever views it the other end. To me, the workflow and the process has a strong correlation to how the final design solution actually ends up being. And I've used and worked with walling in the past, but these new AI updates, they just take things to that next level. And you can try walling via the link in the description box below. Thanks to them for sponsoring today's video and allowing me to show you guys the optimum way of creating a workflow as a designer. But if you want to learn some sophisticated tips for making great designs, just click that video on screen. And until next time, guys, design your future today. Peace.